Hello again, space friends. Here at CCP, we're hard at work updating and renovating EVE Online, including the changes coming for our upcoming Tiamat release on February 17th. In Tiamat, the Mimitar Republic is releasing their Tactical Destroyer, a Tech 3 ship with three distinct modes, just like the Confessor that the Amar have already released. The Mimitar Svepul Tactical Destroyer is going to be an excellent projectile weapon boat and will be a very, very dangerous ship. We have a dev blog already released on it, and we are definitely looking for all of your feedback. We're also updating the audio that goes with turrets in EVE, adding a reverb to really give them a feeling of size and weight. The audio that goes along with uh, missions and anomalies is also being updated, so you can get a feeling for the different audio profiles of different pirate factions in EVE. We are also updating projectile weapons as a whole in the Tiamat release, improving small artillery and adding fall off to auto cannons of all sizes, as well as adjusting barrage ammunition. We're always working hard on updating the graphics of EVE Online. In Tiamat, ships will now reflect environmental light, bouncing off of planets, wormholes, warp tunnels, and other large objects. We will be releasing the next set of Corp and Alliance changes in Tiamat, including increasing the member limit for mailing lists, making it easier to search for members of your Alliance or Corp, and to invite new members, and giving corporations for the first time the ability to decide whether they want Concord to interfere in friendly fire within the corporation. We hope that you are all going to enjoy the changes coming in Tiamat and beyond, and we'll see you at FanFest.